Hello everybody, my name is Skybeam, and welcome to another episode of DAR. So today, um, as I said on the community post, um, I'm going to be talking about the you know the whole LGBTQ community, alright? Now, first off, I don't have anything against gays or lesbians or bi's, no. You, you can love who you want to love. At the end of the day, love is love. Doesn't matter. We shouldn't really be confined to a gender on who we love. But with that being said... I'm not really here to tear down the whole community. No, I'm not I'm not here to make fun of them. No, I, I love them. They're awesome. But I do have some gripes and I do have some criticisms. Alright. So let's get into them. And before we get into it, I'm so sorry if there's any frame rate drops. I tried my best to lower the graphic settings, but Titanfall 2 is just a graphic intense game. Anyways, let's get into it. So, to start off with, my biggest gripe is how many different just pronouns there are. You've got lesbian, gay, pan, bi, like, and queer, and just more. It's like, why? Why? Y you either like, you either like one, or you, or you like them all. But that's, that's just the beginning of my gripes. And now, I understand, you know, like, You've got to, you know, have the whole, you know, inclusivity things and making it so that everybody has a place. But at the same time, I just, I don't, I don't get why we have to have so many. Because it gets so confusing to call someone, like, normal, you know, like, like the normal, like the average. Okay, okay. And then they're like, no, I'm pan, bi, lesbian asexual, transmatically aromantic, it's like, can you please stop? I didn't come here to learn about mathematical equations of the sexual transformation of a giraffe. I came here to just ask you if you wanted coffee. Anyways, that's that's my first one. Um, it, it might not seem as big as a deal to anybody else, but to me, eh, it's just something that I had to get off my chest. Anyways, um, the next biggest gripe I would say I have, as I miss every shot, thanks, um, is that, what, what, what's up with dead names, alright, I get it, I, I get it, you know, when, when, you know, you, you, you transition to the opposite gender, you know, you usually don't want to be called by the other name that you had, so like, let's say that your name was Jack. All right, and you want to switch to being a girl, and so you name yourself Jesse or something, all right? Now, I get it, you know, you don't want to be called by Jack, but at the same time, I have to, I have to tell you, I, I hate to tell you, mate, but there's a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people named Jack. And the whole reason why I bring this up is because there's uh, someone that um, I know in a server that I'm in that, like, I literally mentioned the name, I think, um, like, John or something, and it was their quote-unquote dead name, and ugh, I suck at talking, and, like, they, they flipped, like, they, they had, like, the worst reaction of all, I was, I was confused, I, I was so confused by the reaction, now, I know it's not everybody that does that, obviously, but at the same time, I just, mm, man, like, to the people that do freak out when you, when you hear your dead name, it's a name! People, other people have the name Jack. Other people have the name Sarah. They're gonna hear it from time to time. Now, that isn't to say that it's okay for people to purposefully call you by your dead name. No, nobody should do that. that that's practically calling you straight when you're gay. That, that's just why. I, you're not, you're no longer that. And... I don't, I don't get why, you know, people have to harp on people who want to be different genders or different, you know, names. It's, it's not that difficult. Like, I want to change my name to Sky. No, I'm not becoming a girl. I just, I like the name. I like it. And if someone like, you know, my mom calls me Aiden, I'm not going to flip. But if someone I know, like, that I've told is my name Sky and they hear my real name, um, that I used in the past, then I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be too happy with them, because I'm going to be like, bro, I told you. 
call me this, not this. Now, also, I don't, like, have, you know, a whole, like, name change thing. Like, I'm not nearly as, you know, like, hard and, like, want to have my name different. But I just, I needed, I needed to say something about it because it was just, it was so confusing to me how people can get so defensive over their dead name. Like, it's dead. Do not use it. Never say it. It's like, jeez, man, okay. I just, did, did you want some chicken nuggets? That's all I came in here for. Sheesh. Sheesh. Anyways, um, on a quick little uh, break while I uh, take a sip of water and restart the gauntlet, how's y'all's day? I hope it's going good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So it, it does help me out. I, I know every single YouTuber asks for you to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And while you're at it, leave a comment and share it to all your friends and family and your dog and your stepsister and your grandma and your uncle. I get it. You know, it gets annoying. Trust me. But at the end of the day, it does help. And if you can just subscribe, leave a like, or, you know hit the notification bell it does help in the long run because not only here, here's a couple of youtube insider secret not really they're, they're not insider secrets if you make youtube videos then you'll know about these but basically the more views your video gets the better it does on the platform i mean you'd think that'd be obvious yeah it really is but at the same time you don't know how many people don't realize that um and with, you know, videos getting a lot of views, um, those usually get pushed out farther. Like, you know, like those, like, 30-second videos that aren't even YouTube shorts, they're just 30-second videos that all of a sudden just hit the algorithm, like, eight years later? Well, that's because over time, they conjured up, um, a large amount of views, and once they hit, like, X amount of views, the YouTube algorithm was like, oh, cool, this video's, uh, doing pretty good. Let's, uh, give it some boosting to get it even better. And bada bing bada boom, that person has 8,000 views on a 20 year old video. Now, back to the original topic at hand. I, I just, like, when it, when it comes to, um, all of the pronouns that you guys go by from, like, the normal ones, like, just like non-binary and stuff, to... All, all the crazier ones, like triangular reptosaur helicopter to crayon. I know someone out there has made it to where they want to be called an attack helicopter. I know somebody out there has, and that makes me laugh on the inside, but also want to kind of cry. Because, uh, man, you gotta, mm, you gotta... You gotta get some help. But... I do have to say, I get it. I know, you know, you, you want to be exclusive, and, you, you know, the community wants to be inclusive, but at the same time, there's other ways to do it besides just having 30,000 names. And I also wanted to say the whole non-binary thing. I'm, I'm very scientifically and logically based when it comes to a lot of the things that I deal with in life, and... I hate to say it, but this is probably something that, you know, I'm not going to get a lot of like for, I'm going to get a lot of flack for, but where did non-binary come from? Because, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think non-binary really is, I don't think it really needs to exist. It exists, it, it's a thing, but I don't think it needs to be in the world. I don't think it's necessary. Now, that's not to say, you know, like... If you don't know whether you want to be a boy or a girl, you, you know, are, are stuck on one side until you figure it out, no. But, I'd say a, a better way to put it is just undecided. Because saying undecided makes it sound a lot more normal and natural than just saying that you aren't. Because you are at the end of the day. You either have something that sticks out or something that uh, doesn't stick out. That's just, that's just how human biology works. And at the end of the day, I 
prefer to go off of science and logic over um, hardcore emotions. Now, don't don't ever think for a second I don't include emotions into every single equation that I come up with. Anything, anything that I deal with, I always try to consider emotions unless it is an intense and extreme situation, like, like, like robbery or something. You know, I have not been robbed, not yet. Don't don't plan on it, but um, I, I'd hope I'd hope I'm not. Ho ho hope I don't get robbed. Anyways, um. That's all the topics I have for LGBTQ. Don't go away. Um, I'm going to switch to the next topic. But I did want to say, what are your guys' thoughts on my thoughts? Th thoughts on thoughts. Yes. Um, I, I want to know your guys' thoughts on like what I had to say. Um, leave comments down below. Try to be peaceful. I get it. I might have said something controversial. I really don't want to get into any dramas. This is just my opinion. This isn't Twitter. So don't go keyboard war warrioring on your opinion all right now let's get into the next topic so next and final topic is content creation now, I think I might have covered this in my other DAR session, um, like, a while back. But, I did want to just kind of bring it back out again. And say that, um, content creation is fun, but kind of difficult. Okay? Because, let, let me put it into perspective, alright? Now, I have to, you know, constantly make videos, um to either stay relevant in the algorithm, or I can lower the amount of videos I produce, but I won't stay nearly as relevant in the algorithm as I would like to. Basically, the more videos I make, the more relevant I become, but also the more burnt out I get. Which is why during the summertime is when I'm going to make a lot more videos, like right now. Going to upload a lot more, just trying to transition into my night owl mode, so I can get a lot more recordings done at night, because right now I still wake up at like 2 p.m., or like, 11 a.m. So, still slowly getting there, but I will eventually be able to make content more often than, like, normal. Um, let's see. With content creation, I would say it is definitely a hard choice for, like, let's say you have monetization, all right? It, it's, it's a hard choice to kind of decide how much you monetize, because at the end of the day, I want you guys to enjoy a video that I make. I don't want you to just like click on the video and there's thousands of ads and you can't really sit down for like two seconds without an ad blasting your ears off. So I try to mitigate the amount of ads I put in. I usually only put one ad at the beginning and sometimes an ad at the end. Now I will say this, um, I like and dislike the fact that um, YouTube gives you your um paycheck at the end of the month if you made a hundred or more on one end i like that it, it makes it very you know easy for people to understand when and how they get paid and how much they'll get and get paid but at the same time per se a creator like me who doesn't upload often and it barely makes near that amount it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to hit a hundred dollars every single month and you might think oh well just upload more well Later on, I'm going to show some screenshots, and even if I do upload more, the problem with content creation is that views can still be bad. Views can still be poor, and not nearly as much as I'd need for, you know, money to actually be put into the video. Because the way that I know for a fact YouTubers get money is when you get a thousand views. There's a certain amount of money you get per thousand views. I know for a fact that's that's one of the systems that run in YouTube. Now, am I saying that you have to get a thousand views to make two cents? No, but a thousand views will get you the majority of money off of your videos. And while it is sad that, you know, we have to get a lot of views all at once to get money, it also makes a lot of sense because at the end of the day they can't pay every single person who makes like a video and gets like two views on it that just wouldn't be logical
but also, at the same time, I wish for, you know, just like smaller content creators, we could get some leeway, you know, like, we could get a little bit of leeway with like how much we have to make and how much, you know, views we have to get. Because, you know, it, it's kind of hard for us little guys to get a lot of views, you know? Because I make videos like at least, I make at least one video a month, right? I think, I think that's my current statistics. And, you know, I can get like maybe on average like 2,000 views from that video. On average, I usually get more, I think. I don't know. I haven't checked my um, analytics recently, but I know for a fact I get at least 2,000 views per month. Now, how much will that give me? I don't know, because that's literally up to the YouTube algorithm and YouTube bot to decide. I have literally no say in it at all. The most say I have in it is how much I upload, and even then, there is a high chance that the video just does poorly, because I don't make content that, you know, either speaks to the algorithm or is, you know, all, like, lewd and all that other stuff, because there's a certain fine line on YouTube with especially ASMR content that you can be lewd and you can be demonetized. And with that type of content, you can easily get demonetized in a flash when you're making, you know, lewd content. But at the same time, it gets the, it gets really high views. And another problem that I have, this is just kind of a small itty bitty gripe, but I don't like I don't have um like booba to show off. I don't have cleavage to show off, so. I'm kind of gypped there if I want to make in-person ASMR content, which I do not. I really do not want to do that at all. I, I don't, never have considered it, never have thought about it for a second. And I am very uncomfortable when it comes to being in person on camera, let alone in a recording like this. Recordings like this are hard enough for me to record alone. And when it comes to a recording that requires me to, like, play a game and talk at the same time, right now, it is very difficult to just kind of just chill. I can't chill at all. Like, I need to keep speaking, because that keeps your guys' attention. And it's just how YouTube works. And while it's sad, it's just how it works at the end of the day. Where'd that guy go? He went somewhere. Um. Help! Anyways. And I love making content. Trust me. It's such a fun process, and I love every second that I get to make content and just enjoy myself. Because this is a really fun hobby. And I would never want it to go away. I would never want to stop doing this. Not for a second. I'm going to doom this Legion. Get doomed! <laughs> Get Toyota Corolla! Yeah! Anyways. Oh, I forgot to use my boost battery. Eh, I'll use it next time. Um. I just. I don't know. It's like. With creating content, there's kind of just like two sides to the to me. And. When it comes down to, you know, like, choosing what I make, I want to make things that I'm comfortable with. So, you guys don't have to worry about me going along and making, like, femboy doms you while cleaning your ears out and just kind of spamming that all over YouTube. Alright, that was disrespectful. Th thanks, man, for meleeing me. Um, haha, <laughs> I can make another DAR video about Titanfall. <laughs> More content! Yeah! Anyways, um, I just, I don't know. I don't get why, you know, we are just forced to conform to the algorithm, or you're just damned. I hate it, but at the same time, I get it. It's just how YouTube works now. And at the end of the day, I know eventually 
me making the content I like to make will work out. Whether that be I slowly build my channel up, or one day I get a huge chunk of views from a video I make and people enjoy my content and want to see more. And whether... And whether it's any scenario that happens, I get either one of those, I'll be happy with either. <laughs> also, on this ion... <laughs> <laughs> I used my sword core on him because I was about to die. I don't think he knows I'm on him. I'm using low profile. Alright, now he knows. And I'm out. Die! Oh. Let me in! Die. Ooh, I'm lagging hard. I can, I can feel my PC cooking up. Oh man, this ain't good. I hope the recording's doing okay, guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, but at the end of the day, I enjoy this. I enjoy making this content. It's really fun. Really, just a nice outlet to kind of just chill to. And I get to have funny moments like that on camera. I don't have to, you know, hope and pray that somebody else is recording. But at the same time, I can feel my computer burning right now. Like, literally, I can... Like, I am sweating because my computer is starting to heat up. Like, it is literally getting hot in here because my computer. Yeet. Like, as you can see, like, all the stutters that are coming is not is not the game that is literally just my computer's graphics card having a hard time just coping with the amount of bullshit that is going through right now and i mean i'd say it's handling it pretty well i have a um i have a um 1660 ti gtx um it's a geforce so uh i mean it should be pretty good but at the same time, <laughs> I just, mm, it, it ain't doing so hot. I gotta find something better to uh, record my stuff. All right, take the shield, please. Yes, you can still get meleeed, but at the end of the day, better than literally getting murdered. Oh cool, a tone main. Cringe! Hey Reaper, can you can 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 you can can you just not? Thanks, bud. I I'd like to not. Ooh, come on, come on. I'm waiting for you. Ooh, ooh, hot, hot, hot. Oh, I ejected out of that, but sure again, whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.